Hey, what's going on with it once again, ladies and gentlemen, fanboys and fangirls? This is the one, the only, Criticism Guy 2009, aka Nintendo Free 2011, and um, before I begin, this is probably going to get a little crazy, not graphic, but like in physically, I'm talking about verbally, so if you got any little kids in the room, you're probably going to want them to get the hell away from this, because I'm probably going to be going in a shitstorm of a rant here, so uh, without further ado on that, let's begin. So uh, this little piece of shit, crappy little fake ass thing called Christian Wire, it's fake, it's one of those religion, religious political fuck tart websites that are out there and cults really it's as bad as the fucking Westboro Baptist Church I'll, I might do a rant on that one day maybe maybe not because there's billions of other people that have done it already but let's begin so yeah basically they end up attacking one of my, these really cool ass shows most of you guys you already know it's probably been a good two three months since I did an MLP video thing anything related to MLP the My Little Pony shit because I usually do that like on my Nintendo Free channel but you know what I'm going to make a little bit of a difference. So, yeah, basically, um, I'm going to read this stupid little fucking article right here. It's called um, The Sick Truth Between My Little Pony Meetups, which is fucking stupid, by the way. I don't believe an ounce or a lick of this shit because it is fake and it's fucking derogatory as fuck. You know, I know I'm using profanity and shit, but like I said, it is going to get a little graphic, so you've been warned. So, yeah, basically, this is it right here. Sick Truth Between My Little Pony. I, I don't believe any of this crack shit for a second. I know this one dude named Paul Patrick Brony. Definitely check his shit out. If you love the series like I do, it's fucking bullshit if you think it's crap. You know, I don't got nothing. You can't say this shit in my face. Fuck off. If you're going to be disagreeing and you're going to be an ass white boy like that. So here we go. Without stalling, let's get this shit started. So, okay. On the face value of it all, it is easy to see that My Little Pony French was magic. An innocent girl's cartoon but as reported by Chuck D. Finley, this is My Little Pony abomination. You can go fuck off with that. It's like, what is a brony and why did they make God cry? Are you fucking kidding? It's crap. I'm going to be getting in my details way after that, my opinions and stuff on this. It is a really sick attempt to turn American fathers into gay sodomites. <laughs> Stupid ass. All right. Fathers who want to bond with their young daughters so they want to show them. <clears throat> show with them. But as soon as they become addicted to some subliminal messages of gayness that are pumped through the airwaves and cable lines right into the TV sets, the men then buy MLP toys for their daughters as well as selves. And I'm reading this on my PS3, by the way, just in case you're wondering why I'm getting it out. Alright, so um, they meet up at other fan sites and stuff like that to indulge in in. And then that's how they actually said it in in. I don't know how the fuck they did that shit for. And their gay um, carnal delights. Even worse, they spread they spread it to their male friends, so they become a never-ending circle jerk of godless sodomy. Just fucking stupid. These gay homo gays, for Satan's anal army, are known as bronies. <laughs> Silly man. They went into enough of these bronies in religion, as they want to become known as MLP Meetup, which is also known as BronyCon. The New York one is called BronyCon. Okay. They then they seek the approval of their unknowing and uniform uninformed wives for the permission to take their daughters to conventions. Which the loving moms say that with the men children at home. This is where it's gonna start getting a little bit sick and fake as shit made up. So here it is. These now engaged, engorged men drop their daughters to all go up to their stairs in private adult rooms. Here's one you can find many a thousand men engaging horrific My Little Pony furry orgies. Hundreds, if not thousands, of men within the floor are around in a gay sodomy half and dressed in MLP and get ups and costumes. Another half cover gay fluids and frontly mixtures of anal fucking fluid and cherry flavored sex loot. That is fucking disgusting, bro. That's a fake ass lie right there. They're just making that shit up their ass. I'm, I'm still gonna hold some of the comments in. When the days is done, then the men return to their homes, with unknown willingly families to hide in their shame. When convention workers have to hose off some of the rooms of vile fluids behind, left behind after their gay sex orgy. Even more disturbing than that, there's such thing as for the fact for younger fans. And younger men are becoming addicted to the godless gay indulgent cartoon. 
younger males, such as 10 to 13, which is complete shit right there, are becoming <clears throat> sodomites, which would be blah, 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 to teach the French for magic. Any Christians know magic with the witchcraft and evil and wrong. God tells us all blah, 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 the witches are made mad. We as Christians will stand down for all evil gayness and humanity. If you know any young males are viewing the sideshow, please correct them. If we don't stop from turning all of our men into gay now, the entire Christian race may be gone and parole. Now, this is complete fucking bullshit. Now I'm going to get to my fucking thoughts and opinions on this shit. What kind of fucking sick twisted ass shit is that? Are you fucking kidding me? What a bunch of fucking gay crap bullshit, man. That is nowhere in the slightest anywhere truthful into that. I guarantee you that shit right now, because I remember back in the days when I was still at my folks' place, I used to see that shit, like, not all the time. They didn't really shove religion on my throat, thank God, but... And what the, what's with the gay fucking sodomy shit? That is fucking bullshit. They're just pulling their shit up their ass, and that's not the only thing they attacked, too. They ended up attacking Grand Theft Auto V, like the fucking what else? All the Pokemon shit and everything, you know? It is fucking complete crap. See, this is the people they get shitted on and everything. They, they deserve to get shitted on, because, you know... Their heads are so far at the fucking ass, they have no idea what the hell they're talking about. They wouldn't even make up the complexities of this fucking bullshit. You can tell somebody was trolling the crap out of this thing because it's not real. And if it is real, it's some fucking stupid ass religious cult. And then they talk about a whole bunch of other else, like twerking and shit. And then the Miley Cyrus shit or whatever, you know. It's crazy as a thing. I already talked about that Miley Cyrus or whatever. What else? The fucking Care Bears that are gonna do and fucking all that other crap. What a bunch of fucking shit. Stupid as hell. It's not even funny at all. And then they did talk about like, um, this clown thing spooking presidents and shit. It's fucking stupid. I don't agree with it at all. These people are just one of those same people's like, you're gonna go to hell for this, you're gonna go to hell for that. They can all go fuck off. They can burn in their hell to their own fucking selves, alright? And, uh, yeah, last thing I want to say about this, you can tell the person that did this, they don't have too much of a brain at all. It's fucking stupid. Fuck this little Christian wire thing. It's fucking crap. Fuck religion in all general, really. Because at the end of the day, it's really about beliefs. And the person, whatever they want, that individual, if they want to believe whatever the hell they want to believe, fucking so be it, all right? These, you don't have to, any of these fucking naysayer pieces of shit, you know, that they're just going to be, like, shoving this crap down people's throat when they don't want it. They don't fucking want it. Move the hell on. It's like all these other fucking people that are in religious cults. Like that fucking um, Harold Campin thing that happened. I talked about that two years ago. And then the other thing. That guy that was like in that little like um, Amish thing or whatever. Mormons. No offense to Mormons if you're Mormon out there. I just really don't agree with that stuff. I'm sorry. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So like I always say. Is what is. Ain't what ain't. See you when I see you guys. Have a good day. Have a good night. Wherever you're at around the world. Don't drink and smoke weed at the same time. Don't do anything reckless. Be safe. See you on the next one. Take care, everyone. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Goodbye, and I'm out of here, right? And don't buy into this shit for a second because none of that shit is fucking true. You want to see the real good stuff and the brony stuff? I'll leave you links to real My Little Pony stuff if you want to learn more about it, all right? Take care, lates, and um, I'll see you around, all right? Be easy, and I'm out of here.